What's up, y'all? Tempe against police violence here in Mesa, Office Center, and Hillside. Just south of McClellan. Large police presence. I'm out here with share the footage. Going a little closer. Oh, this piece of shit. So now so it looks like this is a vehicle. Paper plates. This is Sergeant Jay Penrose of the Mesa Police Department. Does he look familiar? To some of you he may. Stay tuned to watch this next clip to see his foolery. Hey, we're gonna push you guys back just a little bit on the other side of the car. We're gonna wreck some tape, all right? Right behind this car? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, guys. Can I get your name and badge number? Penrose 1809. So, is this crime tape or camera tape? Crime tape or camera tape? Transparency tape? Anti-transparency tape? So if I have to go east, that's an open sidewalk over there, correct? That'll be closed down too. Can I go east real fast? No. Why not? It's an open sidewalk. What's your name and badge number, sir? Uh, 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 72 policy. Let me get it on your card before you leave, sir. You should ask the homeowners if you could use their mailbox. Make sure you don't lose this one in custody. If you do, warn the neighborhood. You got a lot of people upset with you guys. So some of you may be wondering what I meant by don't lose a prisoner in custody. Well, check out this video clip that I'm about to post. I'll also post a link to the story in the description below. Get into the Mesa detention facility. You gotta be police personnel, but as one inmate found out, getting out's a little easier. Past the wrought iron fence, a caged garage, and more fencing is the Mesa Jail Processing Area. It's where police say a 25-year-old shoplifting suspect with drug warrants was being booked Saturday afternoon. When he was left alone for, quote, one minute, the suspect slipped his handcuffs to the front, slipped out a closing gate, and dashed towards fugitive freedom. Mesa PD has the ability to electronically notify the surrounding area. They chose not to. A police spokesperson telling me over the phone, if we felt we had a dangerous felon on the run who was a threat, 
we would have used every resource and notified the community. As a matter of the crime, what matters is someone was not as vigilant as they should have been. Pastor Andre Miller suspects the lack of notification was more about saving face. Well, I think it is embarrassment. You would think that they will want the community to partner with them and to help you know, prevent crimes and solve crimes. More than 72 hours later, that suspect still hasn't been caught. And here we are, it's Tuesday, and people in the community still have not been notified. The neighborhood surrounding police headquarters now on high alert. The only person guaranteed to be happy with the silence, the shoplifting suspect himself. Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona. Oh, uh, careful. Remember Limbo, how low can you go? Close enough. Oh, Penrose. Hey, what's going on? I know who you are. Do you? I do. Okay. <laughs> Penrose. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see you out on the streets. Mm -hmm. Luckily, uh, can you scoot over? You're yeah. blocking my investigation. No, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have you come any closer. I'm not coming any closer, but you can scoot over in two yeah, steps. You don't have to dictate what I do, bud. Sorry. You're you actually phone, work, for you work for me. You work for me, Mr. J. Penrose. Okay. Very good, sir. You work for me. Very good. My tax dollars pay you. Mm. You ain't gonna dictate what I do. You feeling alright? You look a, little, look a little woozy there, like you might be on some, some sort of substance. You feeling alright? I'm tired. Are you? I just got off of work. Well, maybe if you like went to bed instead of, you know, follow us around, maybe that would, you know, improve their quality of your sleep a little bit. It was just a, you know, friendly recommendation. Friendly recommendation? Quit your job. That's okay. I'm getting a good retirement, so I don't think that's going to happen. If it makes you feel better, I actually smoked a blunt before I came out. All legal, baby. He said, let's take it down. The tape is down, I'm walking east, 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 oh is that Donovan? Fifty-two, fifteen. Hey. I really do. That's not very nice. Why would you pull me off? Because you're a cop. Your cars had the license plate laid out. That's unfortunate. Right? That's unfortunate. It's a shame. So that's the end of this. 
Penrose made an idiot of himself. Assuming I'm under the influence, I've been smoking blunts and joints since I got off of work. So stay tuned for this video. Tempe against police violence in Mesa. We'll share the footage. Make sure you go and check out his channel and subscribe.